Welcome, and thanks for meditating with Abide. For more guided Christian meditations, download the Abide app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. When recently have you felt rejected, turned away, ignored? Maybe by a loved one or a close friend, maybe a coworker, maybe even a stranger, maybe even by God. Well, feeling affirmed helps you and I discover who we are. But the sad truth is we might not have ever felt affirmed in the first place. Or we might have been affirmed for being something we aren't. Yet God, by His grace, affirms us completely, freely makes us right in His sight. He did this through Jesus Christ when He freed us from the penalty of our sins. Unless you and I are healed from feelings of rejection, we will never be able to fulfill our God-ordained destiny. So before you and I pray together, ask yourself this, have you ever recently felt rejected? And do you feel right in the eyes of God right now? Well, you can. Join me as we meditate, reflect, and pray about overcoming rejection from Romans chapter 3, verse 23 through 24. But first, as we do, join me in a time of opening prayer. Dear Lord God, I feel pathetic at times, constantly scanning the horizon, looking for any opportunity for someone or something to validate me, to make me feel right, to declare me righteous. But nothing is sufficient. No one is enough to fill that longing. Nothing, no one but you and your Son. Simply by offering your grace, you validate me. Simply by granting forgiveness, you make me right, and that is enough. Let it feel enough. And it's in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So when you're ready, and not a moment before, begin to relax and be present before God. Allow something from God to take place today, and let Him be enough today, because you are enough to Him. You are who he desires. Today is about validation. Taking slow, deep breaths. Close your eyes softly for the duration of our time together and settle into this sacred space with God. This safe space where he is enough. And by his grace, so are you. Where do you most often turn for validation, to feel right, other than God? Where do you go to feel justified? Confess that to God now, and remember that He is a God of grace, of love, and forgiveness. God is the God of grace, of gifted mercy. As you ponder that, slow down and let the Spirit guide your thoughts and take notice of whatever captures your attention as I read from Romans chapter 3, verses 23 through 24. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. What word or phrase or thought stood out to you as you heard that? Listen to it again. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. What did you center on? Notice what He is saying to you in this passage.
Justification means to be made right. Have you ever received a ticket for driving over the speed limit? Well, the moment you paid your fine, you were right in the eyes of the court. You were justified. By God's grace and the sacrificial payment His Son paid on the cross, you are now justified and right before God. Be still for a moment. Let God into the silence of your heart as you ponder His gift to you of justification, of being made right, being made whole. With your eyes still closed, listen again. What does this passage mean for you today? As I read from Romans chapter 3, verse 23 through 24. Since all have sinned and continually fall short of the glory of God and are being justified, that is, declared free of the guilt of sin, that is a gift by His precious, undeserved grace to you. Through the redemption and the payment for our sin, which is provided in Christ Jesus. Did you hear that? Something clear or more profound? Center on it again and connect to it personally now, in silence before God. How far did your mind drift when recalling the people and places you seek to make you feel right, just, and whole? Let's take this moment now to journey instead to home, our place with God, the place of His design for you with Him in His arms, the place of His design for a person of His design. Go there. Stay there by becoming still before your Father. Do you ever wonder why we so often seek after what we already have and is already found to us? St. Augustine famously put it this way, God is closer to me than I am to myself. O beauty, ever ancient, ever new, you were within and I was outside of myself. Pause. Stop and ponder and meditate on that truth. Ask God to make Himself known from where He already resides, in your heart. Be still, be silent, and hear Him there. Listen one and final time as I read and you reflect on Romans chapter 3, verse 23 through 24. All of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory, but God treats us much better than we deserve, and because of Christ Jesus, 
He freely accepts us and sets us free from our sins. What is your response to this passage, your feelings, or new insights? I want you to focus on something today. Watchfulness and awareness. Practicing being watchful and aware of the Spirit of God. To continue with St. Augustine, he said, From the noise that is around us to the joys that are silent, why do we rush about looking for God who is here at home with us if all we want is to be with Him? Continue in stillness. Be simply aware of your breathing and let your breathing be your prayer in silence. Stay there for another moment. Notice the beating of your heart. Listen to Psalm chapter 51. Noticing your heart. Ask God to validate you, to create in you a clean heart, O God, to be still as He renews a right, just, and whole spirit within you. Ask Him now. In Colossians chapter 1, Paul writes that by the gift of God's grace through His Son Jesus Christ, we have redemption because of His sacrifice, resulting in the forgiveness of our sins and the cancellation of sin's penalty. Ask the Spirit of God for guidance and encouragement to accept this truth. God is enough for you, and by His grace— and the forgiveness that He extends to you, you are enough for Him. Be still and soak in this truth. Stay here for one last moment. Continue before the Lord now, thanking Him for the stillness in your heart, the rest in your spirit, and the truth that you need look no further than Him for affirmation, for validation, the peace of knowing that in His presence you are enough. Join me now in a time of closing prayer. Dear, affirming, and loving God, I confess that I often feel rejected. I know that I have sinned. I know that by my own efforts that I fall short of your glory. But I also know that I am justified in Christ. Help me to remember that by your grace and through faith in your Son that I am declared free of the guilt of sin. I am made acceptable to you. I am granted eternal life as a gift of your precious, undeserved grace through the payment of our sin which is provided in Christ Jesus. 
even though the world may reject me, even though I may reject myself, I have full and complete affirmation in you, complete validation. And I pray this prayer of gratitude and thanksgiving to you. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, amen. Slowly and softly, let the world around you back in, but keep your eyes closed for as long as you can today. Affirmation, acceptance, validation is not something that needs to be acquired, but realized. Realize it now. Realize through the grace-filled eyes of God that you are enough. Realize through the sacrificial death of Jesus that you are God's pride and joy. As you strive today to feel and realize the affirmation of God, I hope it brings you into a place of peace that lasts throughout your day as you continue to meditate, reflect, pray, and abide in Christ. We hope this meditation brought you peace. For more Christian meditations, download the Abide app in iTunes or the Google Play Store.